All right, guys, we're back with my phone holders in the shot. I know, I don't always have the best shot. Uh, but, you know, if you said there's somebody that knows how to use a collar better on a Great Dane, I, I'd be interested to see their footage because, in my opinion, if you hit this dog with constant one time, ever, oh, hi, Tony. Oh, Tony. No, oh, it's a big uproar in the dog training world. Yeah, they're figuring out training dogs in two weeks. I mean, you have to say there's, and these people don't have any advanced work. The training only lasts two weeks. There's nothing beyond that. The reality of that is that's all you've got in you. If you're only telling people to leave dogs for two weeks, that's your skill level. And if you said, what's, what is, would that be on like a one to 10? Or if we said Fritz Beeler's a 10, Mark's a 9.9. .9. He's not gonna be happy with anything less than that. Uh, he's gonna have to win the national to be a 10. Um, then these people are operating below one. <laughs> Awful. Anyway, they're very, very sensitive dogs, and you know that, Tony. Oh, I'm sure you can imagine what I was going through last night, Tony. When it was time to walk the Great Dane and the thunder, and then she'd come out. I had all the other ones, so I walked them way out there, so she'd come out there. And then when she got out there, big thunder. Oh, well, I'm sure you can guess what happened. She was gone. And she was gone, ready, ready to get back in her crate and hide, hide, hide. <laughs> hide from the storm, it was dreadful. So this dog used to be, and she's way better, and very not wanting to get the collar on. So you're always starting out at zero. You're always on zero. And if you said there is... It's, it's not going to be able to feel that, but it can feel barely perceptible electric. I'd say you're sick in the effing head. <laughs> Tony's like, uh-oh. <laughs> I can see where this episode's going. <laughs> Mr. Rip, if you said something it can barely feel is going to be better than this, I'd say, oh, please. Anyway, she doesn't go on the platform, but I'm very deliberate about how I get the collar on. It should be like a horse. Gentle, 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 gentle. And then you're going away. If you said, what would be the worst thing to do? Go, out a girl. Oh, God, help me. I don't know where that came from. I, I really don't. I understand jockeys do pet the horse at the end of the race. I think they tell them to do that. I mean, I know they do, but it's that's a social gesture. It really doesn't have anything to do, you know, and if you said, well, clicker trainers use a lot of love on dolphins, and that's where that came from. Pfft. At least clicker trainers don't rub all over them, mostly, the ones I've seen. All right, so i got to move these footstools up. This could spook her. You know, and if you said, what would be, what could be something that, you know, if you took a dog like this somewhere, and then it got really spooked, if you say if you took it out somewhere, and you were training it, and there was some... Ugh, you know, just annoying construction workers or whatever making loud noises and it got spooked, what would you do? Not go back there. <laughs> and not go back there at all, you know. Uh, work, work where it has more confidence and then go out again. But don't, the plan would not be to keep taking one like this where it had gotten scared. And make it not be scared. You can't make them not be scared. But I'm understanding. <laughs> you know, she's already kind of doing it as a default. Anyway, oh, I, I, I should set up a barrel pattern is what I should do with her. Anyway, but she's walking. The head is bent. I can speed her up. Watch. <laughs> now, she's inventing her own little thing, Mike. She could short lope, and that's it takes skill to do that. <laughs> she can short lope that little turn. Oh, she could be a barrel horse. I also wish she get her as a costume, man. That cowboy. Oh, she, she could be a reigning horse, this one. Yay. So if you said, what am I doing? I'm clicking the pager. I'm clicking the pager. If you said, how could you be more technical than you are being? Honestly, Mike, I understand. If you said, uh, tell me some improvements we can make on this collar real fast. Um, one, don't have a big box on there like that. Make the thing flat. 
and then make it where you could put it on there and you could push right or left so if I was going to turn away I could push the outside page and if I was going to turn towards I could push the inside if you wanted to be more technical you know what I mean it could have if you said what would that do it would speed it up because you could go bam 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 you know and then have some way to augment the sound even more the option of being able to do that maybe not all the time because then you kind of kill off your silent recall thing if this thing sounded like a foghorn but you know something that you could augment that with and you know obviously be able to get Facebook and shit on the remote but I mean that and then you know, they had to be able to freaking have a little pin camera on there and everything by now Jesus you know <laughs> like oh god pin camera yeah yeah you would have a pin camera and then you could see when this thing was in the bushes she's looking back at me <laughs> that's just her default I'm not saying anything all right let's just work on our little footwork a little let me see if I can get a short loafing again Tasks put together, but then there's an end. The end is right there. I realize I didn't have that before, Mike. I just slumped along like everyone else. I just because what happens is if if the dog isn't following this leg, if you step off, you've lost the dog. Maybe not this dog. This dog could probably keep up, but I'm controlling the dog's head. That's why her head is bent towards me like that. If she wasn't bending, she couldn't make that turn. So I'm adding. Oh, we're going downhill. Turn this way. I try to do it step by step. Yeah, we're pretty good. Her, Angus. All doing, all dancing together. You know, but if you said, what does that give you? And I am going to tell you what that gives you in a dog like this, where it will default to moving out of your way. And if you said, what do you mean? Oh, like you have arms full of groceries. And you're trying to get in your house. I'm going to go in there and get my glasses. Oh, hi, dog. Hi, dog. Yeah, I'm back now. I'm back now. Uh, but yeah, I'm using... All the pager. That's that's what's just killing me, Doug. These people say they can train dogs in two weeks they, and don't use the pager and use the constant and dismiss me as uh, crazy, I think is what they call me. Yeah, yeah, crazy, crazy troll. Yeah, crazy, co go away, crazy troll. <laughs> Doug's like, poor lady. <laughs> yeah, here's what they say to me, Doug. Go away, crazy troll. <laughs> we know all about you, crazy troll. <laughs> I was going to make up like something that, you know, the letters troll meant, you know, to reform something, la, la, la. <laughs> yeah, the, the LL was going to be la, la, la. <laughs> All right, hang on. So, oh, look, we can go back this way a little bit. You've got to have a reverse. So if you said that the default, the dog knows to move out of your way, the default might be if you're coming in your house and it's in your way, it might move. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not telling it to move. If you said, what would the opposite be? That one, <laughs> that one I had, that brindle one. You had to rub on it. It was all it knew. Some people want that, honestly. They want, it's, if you said, what, what is he? Oh, he's petting trained. Because they want to lean on you and they want to get reassured. The problem is when a storm comes and they want to do it and you're sitting in your chair and they say, you're allowed. Because I don't do it with this one. I'm not touching it at all with my hands. And it's not, she doesn't want that. Come on. All right, Doug wants to see you low. That's a fast trot. That nah, wasn't it either. Okay. Sorry, Doug, you're out of luck. <laughs> I didn't want to even see it. I don't even know what it is. Okay, so I've got my three bottles, and I'm not going to... And I probably could eventually get this dog picking up the basket, because she's coming back next month, but... 
I think I have to find the exact right basket. So she's ready to do it, so. I'm not gonna put it at any distance. I'm gonna do it where it's facing this way. People that believe petting the dog right there is gonna improve the exercise. And so, you know, she saw my hand move real fast. She's absolutely adorable. Anyway, that's where we're at. And if you said, well, what do you do when the, put the leash on? You hook the leash on the freaking electronic collar and you operate the dog with the pager. And if you said, well, what's the leash operating as? Eh, possible emergency break. Like these people that have to climb with the rope. That's you, you know? You're not Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible where you can scale the wall with that. <laughs> You've got to have your leash. But, you know, I'm not going to try to physically control this dog. I mean, her wrist is almost the size of my wrist. She might default to it down. And that's, you know, if they get up in your face, that's the right thing to say. And if you said why, because that's the beginning of a sequence. And if you don't do that, that's not the end. If you have another reaction, the sequence is going to continue. I don't know. There's such a thing as dogs that think if they snap up around in your face that they can get attention. What is she waiting for? Oh, clap of thunder or anything. You know, nervous dogs like this. You've got to have the pager for that. Because again, if it got spooked and started running, you would have a chance to use that pager to get it back, to get it back to you. If it was going to bolt. Oh, all right, she's doing it. Know, at least hopefully it would bolt back towards the handler because people say what's it gonna do it's a dog it could do anything your job is to install behaviors no she won't get it if it's by Molly Molly get up here no she'll get it away from Molly once it's over there she'll get it Anyway, yeah, you're looking for something. I, I just, I do like the bottles. I used to use the bottles all the time. And I started using the dumbbells, but I think, you know, anybody, if you want to see if you can do it without investing in those costly dumbbells, I, you can try it with the bottles first. Honestly, I'm not sure people shouldn't just litter their yard with plastic bottles. And then if they randomly pick them up, say something, that may be a faster way to do it, Mike. You know what I mean? Yeah, forget about staring at it. Just throw them around your yard. Uh, if you did a test, the percentage of dogs that would pick up something like that and run with it is pretty high. Your sporting breeds and stuff. I mean, that's around the size of a small... That's the crystal light in there. That's all I drank. Yeah, that was almost a train to retrieve. All right, guys, I'm going to just try to run through a few more dogs because I woke up. I was like, it's Friday, right? <laughs> the only thing is i got to get the grass cut, but it might be too wet. Oh, yeah, no. The, uh, maybe I can do behind the scenes of them cutting my grass, uh, Doug. Yeah, yeah. If you like, you know, stock car racing and stuff, it's, it's kind of similar to that <laughs> as they're speeding around out there. You like stock car racing? You're gonna love this.